Hello. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to add your email signature in the Office 365. Unfortunately, Office 365, when migrated from our Outlook Exchange server, did not migrate over the email signatures. So, in order to do this, you all you have to do is open up your email. So make sure that you're logged in to Office 365, and then you go to Mail. As a refresher, this is my Office 365 portal. I can just click on Mail here, or I can always go from whatever page I am in Office 365 to the App menu and click Mail here. So I have my Mail open, and I just go to this gear, which is really our settings. And I'm going to go to Mail as my app setting. And over here, you will find under Layout, we have Email Signature. Now this allows me to edit my signature. It also allows me to choose if I want to automatically include it on all new messages that I compose and or if I want to automatically include my signature on messages I forward or reply to. Here at United Access, we typically include them on the messages we compose and once we reply or forward to a message, we don't include the email. So you can keep it as that. Now you could copy and paste your current signature if you would like. If you are unsure what that is, I have posted on the SharePoint site the email signature as a document. So you can open up this document and then it's going to give you your ability to enter your store address, your city, state, and zip, your phone, and it's going to include the disclaimer. It also has the image for the United Access image. However, that's more for show. So I'm going to hit Control C, or you could right click and hit copy. And I'm going to go back over to my mail and I'm going to hit paste. And it has all this information. Like I said, the photo was for show. Okay, so you see that I've replaced the information with my information. I'm going to make this disclaimer a little smaller. And going to make sure my text in my emails are as that size 11. So I'm going to put that at 11. Then you can insert an image here. Now you can click on here and you can insert the image and you can download that image from the email that Nicole sent out a while back. However, if you couldn't find that image, I have uploaded it on the SharePoint site for you. So if you go to that information technology page, you scroll down to the bottom. It's one of the recent items. It's here. You're going to want to download it. You can click on it. And then it'll pop up and you can click download, click save image as, logo on my desktop, use it save. And then I can go back into my email and I can insert the image. So I saved it to my desktop. It's this logo. Voila. Everything else looks good. I'm going to click save. Once it's stopped giving you the wheel, we can check it out. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to create a new email. That is my test email. You can see this here. I'm going to still send it to myself just in case so you can see that this is what we expect it to be. Test and hit send. We see I received an email. It looks like we have the image, we have the text, and I have the disclaimer. You're all set.